Hey, what is going on, Capricorns? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, I'm always, I mean, I used to have some uh, scammers on my account. And they were making fake pictures of me, fake accounts, asking people for stuff. And I got really frustrated with it. So I went to the option of approving every comment. So if you think I'm not reading every comment, think again. I read them all. And I enjoy reading them. Uh, so keep them coming. I'm going to be using the Tarot of Dreams. It's one of my favorites. If you want to leave in the comments what your favorite tarot deck is i like to hear if i don't have it i'll probably get it because i have a lot <laughs> i kind of have a problem with collecting tarot decks i have tarot decks i've never used uh, i just i've never used on my channel like, let's say that um, anyway with all that being said let's get it universe what is going on Capricorns? What message do we have for Capricorns? Alright, Capricorns. So the first thing that I see is I feel like there's someone... I mean, this is someone you already know. I feel like you've already been down this road. But I feel like this person can't seem to let you go. They keep coming back into your life. You know, and I... I don't feel like it's going to be any different. You know, I don't see that changing anytime soon. You know, I feel like this person, I feel like in the past they had a habit of going cold, you know, maybe even ghosting you, you know, promising you the world. And when it came time to pay up, they go cold, they disappeared. And it's the same cycle again, but I feel like this person is evolving. You know, this person is, is getting better at Knowing what you want, you know, the more that somebody knows you, the more they know how to manipulate you. It's almost like you're giving them fuel by giving them your time. You know, they know where your weak points are. They know, or they at least they think they know where your weak points are. Now, I, I feel like with this person, it, it, it felt like it was an end of a cycle. I mean, we have the world card. You know, I feel like that cycle ended. It felt like it was the end, and it was. They just can't let you go. But for you, the world, you know, it's the end of the, the Major Arcana and the Tarot deck. You've been down the road, you, you, you went through the good, the bad, the ugly, and, and you came out knowing that it wasn't for you. And that's what makes this, them have to work harder, you know, to prove you wrong. And that's exactly what I feel like this this person is doing. You know, they're 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 trying to reconcile with you. They're trying to make things right. And I feel like it's because we'll get into that. They're trying to make things right by filling your head with more lies. You know, they want to reconcile. 
That's authentic. They really do. But not for why they're telling you they do. Not for the reasons they're telling you. You know, I feel like this person... That, that Queen of Swords in reverse, I mean... They're not who or what they say they are. And I don't feel like they ever were. I feel like they try to sell you a dream. And they were getting good at it. You know, it's like a good salesman. A good salesman can sell... Um, you know, a fridge to an Eskimo. It doesn't mean they need it. Just like I don't feel like you need this person, but that's not my say. I went overboard. I shouldn't have said that. You know, but let's get back into it. I just, I get really annoyed by manipulative people. But like I said, this person's putting a lot of work in. A lot of work to change your mind. To make you think. I mean, they're trying to sell you a bigger dream. The dream just keeps getting bigger every time they come back. You know, the facade, the facade that this person is trying to put on it, they're trying to cover this with a veil. You know, it, it's like taking a mud pie and putting some whipped cream on it and trying to tell people it's a chocolate pie. You know what I mean? There's nothing to it. It's just shit. I was going to say a shit pie, but whatever. Um, but like I said before, it's a hidden agenda. You know, this person is full of hidden agendas. Authentically, I, I don't feel like this person really knows what they want. I, I, I feel like they got too much going on. They got too much on their plate. And I feel like this chaotic energy with this person. You know, and I feel like... This person is after what they want. And, and, and all this person is a big ball of chaos. And they're just going to cause you further pain. With their lies and their manipulation. Now the reason why they're doing this. The reason why they want to be with you. Is because they can't do it on their own. You know, they can't, they can't do it on their own. They got too much going on. You know, they need you. You know, or what they don't, it's not that they need you. They need what you can provide for them. You know, that stress and anxiety is because they know they're losing grip. So they double down. They can't walk away from this. Because, I mean, they need you. And I feel like it's a pride thing with that King of Wands in reverse. You know, they don't, they, I mean, they keep going over it and what it'd be like without you. And all they're seeing is a negative. I mean, it's one of those things they should have thought about before. But when it comes to actually emotionally being attached to you, I don't feel like they are. I, I, I feel like it's, it's a, it's built on a necessity. You know, I don't feel like you're on the same page with this person. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the King of Cups in reverse. So I, I feel like this person is really emotionally immature. You know, they need to grow up. But I mean, like I said, they often they authentically want to be with you. But it's not for what they're saying. It's not for what they're trying to convince you. They're trying to get what they want. And like I said, it's a little bit of hurt pride because they're losing control. And initially, I think that's all this person really wants to do is, is control you. Because if they can control you, you can, you'll give to them. And that's what they want. They want to be given things. They don't want to do things for themselves. They want to be given things. Ultimately, I feel like there's an internal struggle um, that you've always had with this person. And don't ever let that go. You know, there's this internal struggle I feel you've already ha ha always had with this person, whether or not you can trust them. With the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you can't trust them. 99% of what they're saying is bullshit. It fits their narrative. 
And even so much as I feel like this person may even gaslight you a bit in the point where they're trying to convince you that you've caused this or, you know, you've done something to them. And I feel like that's the vicious cycle we always go back to. I feel like that was the problem with them before. They were trying to sell you a dream when it was time to pay up. They didn't have anything in their pocket. And they try to convince you that you were the problem. And then they go cold, hoping that you'd come back to them. But when you didn't, they had to come back to you. Ultimately, what I'm seeing is this person. I don't feel like this is changing. I feel like it's malicious. I feel like it's manipulative. You know, some narcissistic energy in this person. I don't feel like this person's going to show up for you. You know, whatever they're promising you is is bullshit. You know, they're trying to sell you ice cubes. I don't think you'll, you're will you going to get what you want from this person. You know, I don't even know if they know how to get... I don't, know, I don't even know if they know how to give you what you want. Even if they wanted to. They got too much on their plate. They can't handle it by themselves, so they need you to take care of them. You know, but you don't need to be a babysitter. I mean, this decision by them to keep coming back... It may seem like they care because they keep trying so hard to get back, but they need you. You know, it, it, it's like, it's like their life support. You know, but what they're basing this all on is, is stability. That's all they're thinking about. What you can do for them, they're giving no thought to what they can do for you. I mean, like I said, I mean... They can't do it on their own. I mean, they probably could, but they don't want to. And they, they sure as hell aren't trying to. I mean, they'll put in enough effort to get, get you where they want you, and then they'll go right back to being who they were before. They haven't changed. There's no miraculous evolution in this person. Now, energies can always change, and I'm not saying this person is always going to be this person, but this is not the time, nor the place, and you have better things to do. That's just my opinion. Again, I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but always remember, and one thing I wa really want to, a disclaimer, is, you know, don't make this your read if it isn't. You know, I've had a few people message me and, and tell me the whole detail. And I, I read the email and, you know, they said, you know, this is what's going on in a relationship. You know, I feel like what you said was exactly our relationship. And then they tell me what the relationship and it really wasn't. You know, so don't, if it ain't your read, it ain't your read. It's a general reading. It's not for everybody. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And I just want to be clear with that with any reader. You know, this is just the energy we're getting. But if it doesn't match yours, if it doesn't match what's going on in your life, then it may not be for you. Not to say that it's not for some people, because it is. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. And it doesn't mean that... You know, I, I I just want you to be very careful with any tarot reader. Anybody out there, you know, where 99% of the tarot readers I know are out there for the, you know, to help. But it doesn't mean that you should base your whole life on it. You know, if this inner, if this resonates with you, I'm not saying turn it away. At the end of the day, I'm not going to give you... I try not to give anybody advice. Sometimes it makes me mad when I see readings like this and people trying to manipulate people and try to use good people. Uh, it, it makes me mad because there's so many good people out there that deserve a good person in their life. And you deserve someone good. And they're out there. And now with this person, I mean, we have some... You know, we have some Capricorn, some Virgo, some Taurus. 
You know, we have some Libra and Aquarius, possibly some Gemini. Um, got some Sagittarius in there as well. And a little bit of Pisces. You know, I don't want to speak down about anybody. Um, I'm just saying that, you know, I, I was very concerned when somebody reached out to me before in an email. And they basically were planning to throw away a very long relationship because they thought it, it was relevant to what I was reading. And when they told me their story, it really didn't relevant. It wasn't really, it didn't really seem relevant. Um... Now, maybe they were looking for a reason to get out of the relationship, which is, it is what it is. But I just don't want people thinking that, um, you know, one thing resonated in the whole read. That doesn't mean that person, it, to give you a little insight, um, the read I did before with this person emailed me about their partner cheating. You know, in the general read, the person was kind of moving around they had other people going you know they weren't in a relationship they were kind of still looking around and this 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 person had messaged me and it was very you know i felt very bad and i and, i mean we had a few messages back and forth and i feel like i straightened out at the end but i just wanted you know like i never want to break up a happy home you know but if the energy matches you and it's relevant to you and it resonates. And it's up to you to do what you want with that. It doesn't mean that you should give up on it. It doesn't mean I'm telling you to give up on it. I'm not telling you to stay with them. I'm never going to tell you anything. That's just not who I am. So this read got a little bit away from me. Emotions got a little high. Um, but I've done over, I don't know, thousands of videos. And I really slipped up there. You know, I just get mad when I see people manipulate people because I've seen it happen in real life and I don't, I don't appreciate it. There's too many good people out there looking for someone to have people like this that don't know what the hell they want, are emotionally, you know, unavailable, but they're promising people things that they can never give them. But that's just me. Um, I'm passionate about what I do. I want to help everybody as much as I possibly can. And I I honestly, in no way, shape, or form, would ever want to hurt anybody. And when people get hurt, it affects me. I, I get very into the read. And I'm, I apologize for giving it any kind of advice, but I don't apologize for having that emotion. But that was deeper and darker than I wanted to get, but just be very cautious. Be good. Be safe. Take care.